YouTube, how's it going? Frogs Angels is back with some more NFL team-by-team -team record predictions for the upcoming 2018 season. We're on to the Super Bowl champion, Philadelphia Eagles. It should be a good one. Um, there, there's some people out there predicting that they don't even make that. I've been seeing that recently. They, they don't make the playoffs, uh, go from Super Bowl to not making it. Um, I think they're just trying to be – I mean, I, I, I haven't looked over the schedule yet, so I guess anything can happen here, but I don't know. I think they're just trying to be unique, be fancy, those people. I think they're they're they got a heck of a team here. You know, regular season may not be as good as it was last year, depends on who they play and when. But uh, I think overall that you can argue they're the best team in football still. So we'll see what I got. Again, it's the first time I'm looking it over. I'm kind of doing it live with you guys here. Uh, we're using this website, playoffpredictors.com. Great website. Link in the description. Go check it out and make your own predictions if you would like. We're going to go through all the teams. We did AFC East teams already. We did half of the NFC East. We did the Giants and the Cowboys. So go check those out. We've got to do the Eagles right here. We've got to do the Redskins. Then we're going back to the AFC North, then back to the NFC North, and we're going to keep going until we have the playoffs set and predict those as well. And we will have weekly NFL picks as well as college picks I'm going to do this year. Um during the seasons so stay tuned for all that plenty of content here at frogs angels but to the eagles uh how's this team gonna be you know i'm gonna I, like i do with all the other teams i kind of break down the team before i go i go into it i think the reason they won the super bowl no surprise reason they won the super bowl is because of balance but there is there there are some balanced teams in the nfl they don't even make the playoffs but on top of being balanced they have elite players here and there and they have so much depth, too. I mean, even at the quarterback position, see Nick Foles stepping up. So much depth everywhere. Maybe they don't have the best running back in football, but they got three or four of them that can go out and give them what they need. It's so impressive. Same thing with the D-line. Uh, they get Derek Barnett a year ago. was one of my favorite players in the draft. That was very underrated. He, he dropped way too far. I mean, I think this guy can play at a high level right now, but they have so much depth and so much talent there that the guy really doesn't get an opportunity to play all that much. Maybe he will this year. So he, he's definitely a guy I'm looking out for because I, I really liked him draft, pre-draft process or during the draft process. Really liked him coming out of Tennessee. Uh, very fun to watch, and I think he fits well with that Eagles defense, obviously. Um, really, yeah, like I said, balance, really no holes. If I had to find something that I, I actually noticed last year at just at times um, – Obviously, the best team in, in football won a Super Bowl last year, so very good. But if I had to find something, something I did notice watching them was when the ball would kind of get downfield, caught downfield, or a running back would get loose in the secondary, they, they had some tackling issues in the open field. Uh, that's something I noticed. It didn't really hurt them all that much, obviously. So will that affect them this year? Um, another guy I want to point out, Sidney Jones was my number one corner in the draft class last year from Washington until he got hurt. But I was, that's still something, you know, if he's healthy. I actually had him over Marshawn Latimer, and I'm still not doubting myself there. Sidney Jones is a heck of a corner. Hopefully he's healthy. Hopefully that injury didn't affect him because he can play. So he, just like I said, Derek Barnett, I, I'm watching out for Sidney Jones probably even more, honestly. Can't wait to see him play. So some exciting players to watch out for. But let's get on to it. Week one on Thursday night. The first game of the year, Thursday night. What a game. What a game. A rematch of the really the Eagles' only close NFC playoff game. I, the, Falcons had, <laughs> the Falcons had them in that game. They had them. But it's in Philly on Thursday night. This is tough. This is tough. It's really... It's a lot of it's on Wentz too. I mean, coming off the injury, I'm not doubting him, but you know, it is tough to come off that injury like that. He was late, late in the season. They have Nick Foles that can play as well. Our team's gonna figure out the play calling. Our team's gonna figure out this offense. Whether it's Wentz or Foles, is Wentz gonna struggle at all? Maybe here and there. I mean, like a normal. I mean, every quarterback does. But man, week one is tough. I think the you know the Falcons had them last year. I think. I think they can they can win this game, but I'm I'm gonna go with the Eagles at home. I mean, just the first game of the year. I mean, like I mentioned before, Week One unpredictable tells us nothing about the regular season, very mysterious. But just the first game of the year on Thursday night, that crowd's gonna be just absolutely wild. I'll take the Eagles, and then in Tampa in Week Two, um, no Jameis Winston obviously. I'll take the Eagles. Week Three, they are against the Colts at home. I think it's a pretty clear-cut one. I'll take the Eagles. 
in Tennessee in week four. That's that's gonna be a good game. I mean the Titans got Titans got a heck of an offense, I think, for this year, you know. But the Eagles and the Titans could struggle against a guy like Wentz. This is gonna this is gonna be a heck of a game. It's in Tennessee. If it was in Philly, I think I would have picked Philly by now. But this is gonna be a really good game. I think the Titans are gonna be one of those I mean, they made the playoffs last year too. I think they're gonna be improved, but I think the Eagles are a tough matchup for the Titans. You know, the Titans play really well, I think, against and now, you know what? They played really well against the Jags last year. I think that I think Tennessee's gonna be similar to two years ago, but better. They played really well against like their own type of own style. When they went up against another offensive team, they played very well. But last year they played extremely well against the Jags. And the Eagles are similar to the Jags, but more offense. So I'll take the Eagles. Could go either way. Um, the NFC Championship game rematch: uh, Vikings at Eagles. I think it'll be a lot closer than it was last year. But being in Philly. I think, you know, the crowd's with them there. You know, I'll, I'll take Philly again, closer than last year, obviously, but I'll take I'll take Philly on that one. Uh, the Eagles at the Giants on Thursday. Uh, when I did the Giants video, I actually picked the Giants in somewhat of an upset here. I think Saquon uh, has a heck of a game in this one, uh, catching the ball out of the backfield, and it kind of throws off the Eagles. They, they can, then they open things up to throw downfield to Odell. So that's just a kind of a bold prediction. I'll take I'll take the Giants in that one at home. Carolina in Philly, uh, being the home team, I think that gives them an edge. I think the Panthers' offensive line is a concern to me. So at home in Philly, I think the I think I think the pressure gets to Cam Newton there. I'll take the Eagles. Eagles at Jags. Ooh, oh, that's in London. Man. I don't, you don't pick against the Jags in London. I gotta take the Jags there. And I think I, I mean either you could go either way. I think the Eagles are the better team. Um, Jags were impressive, if I remember correctly. They were very impressive in London last time. So uh, I'll I'll take the Jags in that one. A little bit of a hot take there. Jags in London, basically home, and they got a bye week, and they're home against the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I did in the Dallas Cowboys video. I did take the Eagles in this one at in Philly. So now we got Eagles and Saints. Oh man, this is a this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Um, let's see, the Saints at home could have quite a bit of offense for them in this one. I, I, you know what? I'm I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Saints in this one. I'm gonna do it. I think uh, ignore the Week 18 thing. It tries to predict the playoffs, so ignore that. Sorry about that, but uh, Saints I think have too much offense at home for the Eagles in this one. Uh, week 12, Giants-Eagles. Giants don't beat the Eagles the second time. No way, not in Philly. And then you got another division game. We actually got three in a row here. Look at that. Redskins at Philly Monday night. No way. Eagles win that one. And then you got the Eagles at the Cowboys. Um, in the Cowboys video, I had them splitting, actually. I think uh, Cowboys offense gets rolling here. Take the Cowboys. Eagles-Rams. What what a matchup. What a matchup. Um Jared Goff versus Carson Wentz, pick one versus pick two from a few years ago. If Carson Wentz is healthy, I expect him to stay health stay healthy. But if not, they they still have Nick Foles. Man, this is a good one. This is hard to predict in Week 15. Um, uh, I have I have a bit of a take on the Rams. I'm going to save it for the Rams video. Bit of a take. Very good team, I think, at home against the Eagles. Got got a pretty good shot, but I think the Eagles win. I, I don't know. I, I think I like the matchup for them. I think they're the better team. Texans at Eagles. Um, I, I think in Philly, the pressure gets to Sean Watson. You know he he's pretty darn mobile. He can move. He's good under pressure, but uh, that offense line could struggle a little bit this year. I'll take the Eagles. Eagles in Washington. Do I have them split like the other team? I think the Redskins be a pretty solid team. Um, I don't know if they split with everybody in their division. I'll, I'll take the Eagles in this one. So that'll do it. Twelve and four, pretty good. That looks like a pretty good season to me. Um, looking them over again, they can honestly look. They can honestly lose week one to the Atlanta. That one was could go either way. I think Atlanta. The Falcons had them in that playoff game last year. They they had them some poor play calling. They were able to stop the Eagles. So the Falcons defense. Pretty impressive, honestly. 
Uh, that game could go either way. You can look at the Titans game go either way. Um, you know, the Vikings are one of the best teams in football, but, you know, I, I'm pretty confident about the Eagles in that one. I think they got a matchup on, on them possibly, uh, mainly in, in Philly. The Vikings struggle struggled there last year. You know, I, I think it'll be different, but we'll struggle again. Uh, they could, that could go either way. They can win that. The Panthers were a good team last year. Uh, they can beat the, you know, the Eagles can honestly go go 16-0. and uh, But there's also some games I, I gave them wins on. Uh, like week one, four, five, um, you know, the Redskins game, the Rams game, you know, they, they can lose those games. They can lose them. So 12 and four, you know, they're, they're like I said, there's people out there that are predicting, predict them not to make the playoffs. You know, you see teams that are just so good one year and then what happens the next year? Uh, are they predicting injuries to happen? Are they predicting Carson Wentz to struggle a little bit? I don't think that's like crazy. I think it could happen. Um, gonna have an excellent career no matter what he does this year. But so I think those things are realistic. But I think people are trying to be unique out there. I, they're getting a little over the top. I think the Eagles are legit. Um, they're just the front office, hell of a job putting this team together. So much depth, so much talent. Just you see teams go out and get talent, but do they really fit the team? What they're trying to do? Are they just good players? The Eagles, they got the talent and they got guys that really fit their team. They make guys better. They have players that make other guys better around them. So impressive. So for that reason, I, I don't see the Eagles missing out in the playoffs. I, I think the majority of experts will say they make the playoffs, but I just something I saw a couple times recently. People doubting them a little bit. The I will say the NFC is pretty darn stacked, so I, I guess anything can happen here. There's really no terrible teams in the NFC so we'll see you know it's you know at the end of the year it's gonna look like there's a bad there's some bad teams because they're record but really they may actually be pretty good teams but either they are hurt or they just had a tough schedule and had to play really good NFC teams and somebody's got to lose you know so NFC is very stacked but there's your Eagles predictions let me know what your guys thought is thoughts are on 12 and 4 you think there's any chance they don't make the playoffs um, again, playoffpredictors.com, link in the description. Great website, very useful. Um, appreciate the site very much, so uh, go check it out. Appreciate everyone's support. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please do so to help us reach our goal. It's 10K subscribers. We would like to get there eventually. And then please like the like uh, the video if, if you enjoyed it. That will also be much appreciated. But that will do it for the Eagles video. We're going through all the teams, and we got you covered all year round can't wait for football to start good time of the year here good time of the year stay tuned for more that'll do it for this one goodbye